Welcome everyone, this is P and welcome to another episode of Modern Warfare 2 no clip videos. Today we're gonna take a look at the loose ends level, very iconic level of the game, we all know what happens here. And we're gonna see some stuff uh, in uh, detail from the no clip perspe perspective and see what interesting things we can find from that. Okay, so here's how we'll do this. We will check the map design right now from this position without triggering any events. And then I will cut to parts, descriptive events, where we can uh, see how things are made to take a closer look to them. So, let's just start right off the bat and start exploring the map design. We can see this cliff over here is pretty interesting because it's like there's nowhere to come from. We like just appear up here, which is usually how most uh, missions start, like you just spawn somewhere without explanation of how you got there, which is both interesting and both uh, uh, curious sometimes. So we see the overall map design. Let me just, we can already see all the landscape. It's quite a huge map, big map. Pretty beautiful map design though. We have a lot of stuff to see here. The mountains and the cliffs and the hills. We can see some out of map like uh, uh, stuff that are not really visible in the from in map area like those gaps over here that's what i'm talking about and those mountain uh, like glitches and stuff we can't really see of course the map uh, blocks us from going outside from this fence over here and this destroyed truck which is funny because we already see the trucks going this way and stuff the javelin part is not really interesting to see because there it's just two javelin uh effects is firing from the hill up there it's nothing more to it so yeah it's not really worth taking a look to it okay so let's go to the building area we can see a top-down view we have the boat part over here the boat house the small uh forest uh, path over here and we have the front door not much else to see uh, the fence with the solar panels Solar panels are pretty fine. This is a really really dark rock Yeah, it does really work with the lighting too good. That's why Anyway, we have the solar panels which can be accessed from this side However, I believe that there's a scripted sequence where something happens here outside of players view um, But I'm not sure what it is. I think this is initially blocked and then uh, enemies spawn over here or something. I'm not sure. I'm still not sure. So yeah, I don't want to mislead you guys with my speculations. So yeah, we just just see this area. Let's see how far we can go. Okay, there's a fence. We can't go further than that. Fence blocks us from going to the fields up there. And then we have the ending part, which is also blocked by a fence, which... If we try to like go normally during the game uh, before we just complete all the objectives we are here and just can't go to the ending area which of course like I said before we all know what happens let's see the ending area before we even trigger the events we'll go to the house right after so uh, we can see that there is quite some interesting details in the background there are quite some interesting details in the background that we don't really get to see because a lot of stuff happen at once over here yeah and we can also see the lightning changing a little bit because there is there's a lot of things in here to render so yeah the renderer chooses only the necessary things to render yeah just typical uh, map design stuff we have the fields in the background not much to see here as well a shed over here that i never actually noticed let's see if this is solid i bet it's not solid okay my bad <laughs> it is solid you can't go through it i guess it it wasn't necessary to make it not solid or something even these even these they bothered putting a, a collision in these ones that's interesting okay now we will have to find the place where you know what happens or the pit where something interesting happens and of course it's here where the smokes already are you can see even the even the blood is here the pit over here the quite uh, <laughs> interesting pit <laughs> we all know what happens yeah you can even see the background it's the same with what i'm talking about okay let's yeah that's enough i think 
Okay, let's go to the house now. Just see what we can see about the house. By the way, I'm sure some of you want to see how the skybox is. Let me just change the FOV. There we go. That should be better. I th I hope. <laughs> we can see that the water has actually stuff underneath it. Like there's ground. There are some gaps though, but yeah, they're not visible. We have the boathouse here, pretty similar to the multiplayer part. These seem to be very very similar. And we have the house itself. There is really not much to see. Oh, apart from this, what is this? This seems like for bright. Yeah, just a random untextured cube under the ground. Not much else to see about. So yeah, we have the house. We see it from an underground perspective. Okay, we see that there's uh, the windows are blocked with the uh, newspaper before we go inside So they prevent us from seeing enemies stacking inside or enemies being not spawned inside because they spawn upon we uh, Breach and I think we can even breach right now because whoops because we yeah, there we go. It saved itself Let me show you the breach animation Yeah, that's a little bit buggy, isn't it? That's because, firstly, we didn't do it normally, and secondly, uh, we are in no clip. I mean, we didn't go through the sequence normally. And then we are in no clip, and it kind of bugs itself out. Okay, we are back here. Uh, okay, now, we can't see much about it. Like, there is not much else to see about the house. Like, whatever we can see inside the house in normal perspective of the game, we can see it in the no clip like there's nothing additional to it that's what i want to say like it this is all there is oops never seen that before i mean i don't remember noticing it teddy bear behind the wall <laughs> stabbed to the wall pretty interesting okay uh this part over here this part over here i'm not breaching again i'm not going in there <laughs> you know why it's also over here okay so not much else to see you can see it's not just empty and this is supposed to be a closet or something there we go yeah not much else to see like i said it's uh, designed as far as it has rooms for us to see that's that's all there is <laughs> it's pretty interesting though to like i mean this is casual stuff you can see this in game Everything that, that is in here. Although, to be honest, I think that the multiplayer uh, estate uh, building is way more uh, interesting to explore. Because there are some secret rooms in the basement. Apart from this one, which is an armory. There's no armory in multiplayer. It would be interesting to see that. But yeah, what I'm talking about is... Uh, what's this? Yeah, whatever. Uh, is that there are no like weapons in the basement of the multiplayer estate. So, yeah, what's back behind the door? Nothing. Okay, nothing here. The last door over here. As you can see, it's just... Just what it is. There's not more... Uh, there's no more stuff than what it already needs to have. Like, there are no secrets. There are no further secrets about the estate building itself. So, yeah, there's really not much to explore other than that. It's a really a uh, short one. So, yeah. What I'm gonna do now is, like I promised, I will trigger the events of the ending. Okay, so there we are. I have triggered the ending event. The ending cinematic is now active. I will no creep right ahead and show you that for now, there's nothing there. We have no body model. And Ghost is not behind us dragging us. It's just our player model playing an animation. Not an animation, it's, I think it's a script that drags us backwards. That's all it is. There is no body, there is no ghost dragging us. It's just a scripted event, a scripted sequence. This is for the first part. Now the second part, we have a body. For some reason, I have explained before, it's the snow Task Force 101 body. We have ghost holding us and we have uh, the view hands attached to the snow body, which is absurd. We have also no head. There's the shooting. Wow, pretty dramatic, right? It's been like 12 years, maybe. 
12 years in this scene, yeah, it's it's not new, so yeah. So yeah, the thing here is, we'll watch it again, we'll watch it again. The thing here is that our body model is split in two. Like, it has the view model part and the body model part. The view model are the hands and the body model are the legs and torso and stuff. And I will try to explain again why this happens. We see that the body disappears, we just have the view hands being here. Okay, I'll, I'll restart to show it to you again. Okay, having everything slowed down right now, we will have more time to talk about it. So, we have the body model of the player, which is for some reason the snow variant. Uh, we There's a weird reason for that, I won't explain now. And we have the view hands model, the one we use to fight with guns and stuff. Now, why this exists is because that the hands of the body model are not as high quality as the hands of the view hands model. So they bind them together in this uh, animated sequence. Ghost of course has his own models over here. And we have no head because if we had a head we would be able to see through it something like that. It would be buggy and there would be no reason for us for the game to uh, render a head where player is because you can't see your head like in this sequence that's mainly all the details i can talk about so yeah we have the sequence in slow motion pretty dramatic <laughs> 12 years ago like now it's nothing new and we can see that ghost ghost's model should change though i don't know why it doesn't change in this sequence maybe it's because i didn't play the game like normally from start to end we can see that the DSM just spawns <laughs> in the hand of <laughs> Shepard he's a trickster these guys just freeze until Shepard tells him to come by there we go they start moving <laughs> pretty absurd right Witness the suffering in slow motion. <laughs> Ooh, that seems creepy. <laughs> and we have the guards picking us up. Okay, so this stays here. The actual scene takes place there, as you can see. These guys are all here just waiting. They do nothing. Then we have our body throw. Kind of missed that. And then we have the ghost body throw. Okay, just... We have Shepard spawning again. We didn't see it, but he did spawn right here. Ooh, I think I saw a glitch. Okay, we're back at the scene. Again in slow motion. So the body is one full body with two hands, two legs and one torso without a head. And you can't actually remove these hands from the body without doing some actual model editing in a model uh, editing software. So because that would take a lot of time, resources and uh, like manpower, they just use this scripted sequence to just attach the view hands to have a higher quality hands for the player during the sequence. That's why they did it. Now as for why it is the snow body model, that would be because the names of the body models for Task Force 1 for 1 do not have like uh, indications of what setting each of them are. The snow ones are the ones that are just body underscore A, body underscore B and stuff. The forest ones are body underscore forest underscore A and stuff. So maybe the scripter of the sequence didn't really realize that when the body models have no like setting written their name they would be the normal ones but he was mistaken because they were the arctic ones so yeah it, it's it's a scripting mistake like yeah they didn't really realize it i don't know how but they didn't realize it there we go not much else to see like i told you there we go shepherd spawning Okay, that's all of it, guys. Oh, you can see the uh, gasoline pouring, of course. And the fire effects playing in a very awkward way. 
That is because it's supposed to play on player location, but we are way off from where we're supposed to be. That's why it's playing like that. Thanks everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed this short and interesting video for the no clip series. Uh, hope you'll be well and I'll see you next time with Boneyard. Bye bye.